I'm Linnea. And I'm Veronica. And we're librarians at the Larchmont Public Library. We wanted to read and share some of our favorite stories with you. Blurp's Book of Manners by Sydney Derby. Hello, my name is Elizabeth Picklepop the Fourth. You are here today to learn proper manners. Upon finishing this course, participants will be presented with a certificate of completion. I will be watching each and every one of you very closely, so pay attention. We are going to start with how to properly introduce yourself. Woo! <clears throat> Please ignore what just happened. Erase it from your mind. Thank you. Moving forward in our lesson and introducing yourself. Bah, bah. First, one must stand up straight. Blop. Look the other person in the eyes. Blop, blop. Smile in a pleasant way. Then, blee, bah, bah. Blurp. <clears throat> well, isn't that peculiar? Pay no attention to that. None at all. Bow wow. Be blurpy blurp. Bits by spoopy. For next lesson, let's gracefully move outside to the garden. How to make pleasant conversation. Everyone, I would like you to meet Professor Ham and his darling pet, Edgar. When making pleasant conversation, one must always listen more than they talk. Professor Ham, how did you come up with your fascinating theory on the law and economics of hamster wheel? Ahem. <clears throat> Actually, it is the law and economics of the hamster wheel. Me blurpy blurp. Pardon me, I was not finished speak gulp. Oh, would you look at that? Professor Ham had to go. Moving right along. Blummy. How to sit down properly for afternoon tea. Presenting yourself well is the most important goal, no matter where you are. To sit properly, stand as close as possible to the seat, put your knees together, ease down into the chair gently, and... Blurp! <clears throat> if something should go unplanned, then simply excuse yourself and proceed with dignity. Blarden. Cross your ankles. Place your hands like so. Blurp. And sit quietly with perfect poised posture. Blurp. To get up from your seat, say, pardon me, and graciously walk away. Blurp. Keep your composure. Blurp. Politely lean into the turn. Blurp. Chin high. Blurp. See? Everything's perfect. Blurp, isn't it? Blurp, 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 blurp. Enough! You are ruining everything. <clears throat> Let's pretend that didn't happen. Please join me for our last, very important lesson, how to be considerate. When we are considerate, people want to be around us. That is why it is important to treat others with warmth and kindness. I'm sorry. We haven't formally met. My name is Ms. Picklepoop. Uh, I mean, Ms. Picklepop. No! <laughs> Blurp, would you like to join me for some afternoon tea? Me, Mr. Blurp. After Blue. Oh, why, thank you, Mr. Blurp. Blurp. Mr. Blurp, it is my honor to present you with your very own certificate of completion in Introduction to Matters. I Am Picky, written by Kristen Tracy. Don't look at me and think I'll eat anything. I will not. I am picky. 
I've been choosing my whole life. My mom's picky. She only eats fish heads when they're attached to their bony spines. Ugh. Squirt, 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 squirt. My dad's picky. He never nibbles on chewy snacks without plenty of mustard. I'm extra picky. Gulp. Ugh. Look. Our tongues have very peculiar tastes. Ah, there's worms on their tongues and bugs. Is it tough being this picky? Totally. You've got to reach deep into the pond scum. You've got to dig all the way to the bottom of the compost bin. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Tender morsels don't just fall from the sky. Except when they do. Some things only taste good together. Like bright flowers and crunchy bees. Nom, nom, nom. Magnifique. But I'm so selective. Sometimes I've got to swipe my snacks. Oh no, he's going to steal the carrot. Whoop, nope, just eating the bugs. Gross. I'm a special breed. I want what I want. Oh, what's he getting? <gasps> he's getting the eggs out of the chicken coop. No matter which den I leave, finding the right snack is always a challenge. Oh no, he's eating the jack-o'-lantern. I consider myself a seasonal eater. Nothing tastes better than a freshly harvested meal. What's he trying to eat now? Oh, underwear. Oh, bird seed. Blah. Burp. Ugh. Do you see what I see? Yuck, blech, snails. I am so picky. Don't think you'll ever catch me eating a snail. I will not. Ooh. Oh my gosh, he ate that snake. Choosy as I am, I actually have a favorite snack. It's tastier than berries. Nuts, insects, small fish, eggs, moldy bread, muskrats, vegetable gardens, tropical fruit, and garbage combined. There it is. Delicioso. This breakfast treat requires my sneakiest move. <gasps> He's going to throw the stick. It's a smart move. What can I say? I'm lucky. My mom's lucky and my dad's lucky too. Rough, grr, rough, rough, rough. Oh my gosh, his dad's putting mustard on it. That's what I call a successful snacking spree. Burp. Oh, wait, no, where are my manners? I've eaten all these snacks and I haven't offered to share anything. Let's see what I can put together. For you. Whoa. The end. Hopefully you found some of those books interesting. There are a lot more books that we didn't have time to talk about, and your teacher will give you a list. Come visit us at the library if you have any questions, and we hope to see you soon. Bye!